Welcome to our channel Scarabits. My name is Galina Chermisina and today we have a very interesting Easter craft project. We are going to decorate styrofoam eggs with the beads and seed beads. Kids can certainly help you here. For this project we will need styrofoam eggs, paints, brushes for painting the eggs, pins. It's better to choose a head pins, which has such a rounded head. As well, we will need a different color and form beads and seed beads. As you can see here, I have a lot of different and interesting beads. Beads, rose petal. It really looks like a flower petals and they're asking themselves to make a flower from them. Spike beads. I've taken the smallest one, 8 mm long. Matuba wheel beads. Beads with a marked edge and depression in the middle. And I have a faceted beads. Here is the piggy beads. Half rounded from the one side and concave from the other. They have two holes, one in the middle and another one on the side. Very interesting beads of unusual shape, it's rounders. They are also faceted. Seed beads of chosen color number 8 and 11 and as the last one the bagel beads. All materials you can purchase in eshopscarabeads.com Let's do a flower from a spike bead. Before we can start, I would like to tell you more about the egg bases. When you will buy it in the shop, choose the one of the good quality, without cracks and dents. The seam like that will be the obstruction. This part of the egg will be visible, right? not covered by beads, so we really need to have a good quality foam. This egg I've painted up front. I've chosen this metallic color. You can see and you can use as well a like gouache paint or tempera, but you might need a several layers. For sure you can melange the colors and also paint different, draw different parties. Okay, let's first come up with a composition. Choose smooth egg of the side. Now take a pin and string round a little bit. It looks well here. Wire and not so prominent as the round beads. Just string a bead and pin it to the styrofoam egg. Push the pin on 90 degrees angle. Round the bead is hexahedral so we use it and pin next to each of face six spike beads. As I've prepared already and strong beads onto the pins, I'm just going to stick them to the egg. I recommend in the beginning not to stick the pins till the end, as if you will want to change something, it will be easier to pull them back and do not damage the workpiece. 
involves children. The technique is very easy. The result is visible immediately and kids will have a great imagination. They will come up with a, something really great. Now I'll take bagels. I'll do from it three branches from this side, from that, and then upwards. Bagels I attach not perpendicularly but at the angle, push it under the flower. So, two bagel bits next to each other. And then the third one in the middle after them. It looks like a branch. I will do three of them. So we've got a such a nice flower from a spike beads. These beads can be used for embroidery, in pendants or any other decoration. You'll got soft and accurate pattern. Now we will do a pattern for my piggy beads. These beads are convex from one side and concave from another. They have two holes, one in the middle and another one on the side. I'm going to stick pins into the both of them. In the middle I'll stick round the bead. And now I will add a piggy beads. First through the middle hole. Then turn the bead in the way that the second hole will be next to the center. When I was creating patterns, I trained myself on the piece of foam plastic. In the second holes, we will add seed beads. Stream seed beads onto the pin and turn towards the center. So this is the flower from my piggy beads. Such a flower you can complement with branches from bagels as well. The next flower we are going to do from my tuba wheel beads and raise from the seed beads. My tuba beads have a quite a big hole. It can be handy if you use them for macrame or if you are kneading with the beads. In our case, you can see that the pin will slip over the hole. That's why we first string a seed bead. I have quite a big seed bead, number 8 of white color. Then we string wheel and stick it to the end. The core I will do again from the round elements. And I will have five petals.
Now with pencil I'll draw the path for rays. For rays I'm going to use a seed piece of two sizes. On the end I will use the smaller one, so it will look more elegant. We will do four bigger seed beads. and then two of very small size. I've placed seed beads not too close to each other. In the same manner we will do all five rays. Look, it's really nice flower and the egg we've made. And one more flower we will do from the rose petal bits. In the center I will stick pearl of such bright orange color. As rose petal beads have a hole on the top, so we just simply stick them with that. If needed you can additionally press it with a pencil. This flower I've decided to decorate with such tails from faceted beads, which I will stick at the angle, so they will hang slightly sideways. According to my experience, half at minimum half of the pin should remain empty, so not more than half of the pin should be filled by beads, so then it will stick and hold well. Here is our flower from rose petal beads, faceted beads and one round bead. Such a beautiful decoration for the egg. Now I'm going to weave a stand for the egg. I'm stringing onto file line, that's a special thread for beading or you can use a simple fisher line or you can take a thick enough thread. So I'm stringing beads and which is going well by color to get the egg's color. For the egg height 7 cm I have weaved the chain around 10 cm long. Then I fix the thread with a standard knock, pull it together nicely. Just to be sure, I'll tie a couple of additional knots. I'll pull the thread through the couple of beads. Pick up the thread between beads, make a loop, and go through this loop with a needle and hide the knot accurately between the beads. Go forward a couple of more beads. We need to do two, three knots like that. After the last knot, we go into the one more bead.
the same way we are going to do with the second end. and pull the thread and cut it off. Here is a ring stand for the egg. You can make for a stand as well very beautiful beaded napkins. Our Easter souvenir set of decorative eggs is ready. Choose your own color combinations and create interesting accessories. Send us photo of your crafts, send it to our group site or into Facebook group. If you like our tutorial, thumbs up, subscribe to our channel's credits. Just a small reminder, all materials you can purchase on our eShopScarbids.com. See you soon again!